Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Well, they call the Ukrainian war as being the all war, almost total war, which I don't think it is, for the reasons uh, that I mentioned many times before. If you would have a total war, you would use all weapons in uh, your possession and you would have a general mobilization. You would not just go in with less than a million uh, people uh, as troops. You would do something else. So that's not a total war or all war. Uh, on top of this, it seems like the guys communicate and the United States and the Russians, what you can do, what I can do, don't do this, this is too far, don't do this, I'm going to do this. If it's total war, you just do it and screw you guys. We'll see what are you gonna, how we're going to react. I don't care, I'm going to go straight forehead. So in this case, we have Moldova that it seems like gets a uh, strike three right now. Moldova is warned by none other than uh, the ministry of uh, foreign ministry of Russian Federation, Maria Zakharova. And she tells Moldova, don't go too far or else. Well, what that could be. So let me show you Sputnik and uh, read about uh, Maria Zakharova, the spokesperson of the Russian foreign ministry. So we have this coming two hours ago from Sputnik, August 25, 2023. Russian Foreign Ministry warns Moldova against carrying Ukraine support too far. Again, this is a controlled war. If you think that Moldova does something bad, you don't talk, you warn them. And Moldova was warned a few times already. I think this is the last, the last warning. Here she is. Moldova should beware of overplaying its support for Ukraine to the point of becoming an accomplice to the crimes committed by the Ukrainian military. Russian Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Maria Zakharova said it on Friday, and I'm quoting her. I would like to warn Kishinev against a deeper involvement in quote-unquote support for Ukraine, which will not only threaten stability and security in the region, but also will turn Moldova into an accomplice to war crimes by the Kiev regime." End quote. Zakharova stressed. Remember, Moldova is not in the European Union, Moldova is not a NATO member state, but neither was Ukraine. And you see what NATO does. Uh, anyway, the West, United States, the West countries, the Western countries or the West continues its efforts to drag Moldova, whose permanent neutrality is enshrined in its constitution, into the Ukrainian conflict, the diplomat added. So when you hear about the Russians uh, breaking all kind of uh, uh, agreements, think about uh, Moldova's neutrality, enshrined in its constitution. I didn't know that, now I do know. As regards recent tensions in diplomatic ties between Moscow and Chisinau, Russia will make every effort to provide consular services in Moldova, both to its own and Moldovan citizens, Zakharova emphasized. And I'm quoting again. Despite a radical cut of employees of Russia's diplomatic missions, upon request of the Moldovan government, the consular department of the Russian embassy in Chisinau resumed its operation on August 17, after a forced pause, obviously maintaining old peace or old pace would be a challenge. Nevertheless, despite the obstacles created for us, we will do our best to continue to provide necessary consular services to the citizens of Russia and Moldova, Zakharova said. On July 26, Kishinev ordered that 45 employees of the Russian embassy, including 22 diplomats and 23 technical workers, leave Moldova by August 15th over espionage allegations. Moscow responded by summoning uh, Moldovan ambassador Lilian Dari to lodge a formal, a fo a formal a protest and banned a number of Moldovan officials from entering Russia. So, I don't know, they have this neutrality enshrined in their constitution, but on the other hand, if you think that uh, another country does hanky-panky on your territory, is within your rights to kick them out. 
the problem is you have to provide evidence i don't know if they provide it or not they just decided you get out now under the under the disguise of you know uh, now they're all at russia's throat i must i might go and pinch him by the balls or something uh that's what moldova is doing right now moldova is a i mean no insult i don't want to insult anybody moldova used to be a country of about 4 million people if i remember correctly right now that's about 2.8 million or something like that or 2.5 million people so there's the size of uh, lithuania about right 2.8 i think is lithuania bigger than latvia bigger than estonia those loud mouths over there uh, so uh, moldova has a depleted military and uh, no it's not of, of course it could help with this territory you know if you would push your forces and moldova would be on your side you already crossed you know moldova is going to be on your side so you advance without shooting one bullet so in this case moldova gets a warning what do you think will happen they will get some missiles if they uh keep going but i don't think the russians will do this just like that but moldova you know if you think moldova is neutral moldova has not been neutral and uh, the president of moldova sandu from what i read from other um, media outlets not american or not ukrainian or russians it's pretty corrupt what's going on over there with miss sandu but i don't know some people say that i don't have any evidence to provide you but i just have a gut feeling you know nevertheless we'll see this is not a total war as i said many times before and this is a warning what's going to be next uh, another warning i don't know uh, the only thing you can make these guys uh you know back off is smacking them are they gonna smack them if they smack them you're gonna have second ukraine and those guys are waiting for that because they need fresh blood so yeah moldova has 2.5 million people let's say but he still has a military let's say i'm gonna put 100,000 troops coming on the ukraine front will help right legally so it's a way of you know i provoke you you tell me you're gonna punch me in the face and i say hey see he's attacking me he's threatening me i'm not saying ukraine uh, moldova provoked russia but uh it, it's obviously not neutral like none of the countries that provided any any help I'm not talking about you know helping uh, civilians but any military help or more money and so on those are not neutral because they didn't provide to the other side if you would be neutral you would provide to both sides and i think you can have reasons to provide both sides don't you civilians are dying on both sides unless you think that there's no russian civilians dying somehow anyway thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just